Well, as we already talked about at the top of the show, we are trying to raise awareness, bring awareness to colorectal cancer. Of course, this is an important month to do so, but it is always an important time to think about getting screening. We want to go ahead, welcome into our show today, Dr. Gavin Siegel from Advent Health. Dr. Siegel, how are you today? Hi, good morning. I'm great. How are you, Natalie? I am well. I, viewers of our show, they will hear me talk about it often. It is a passion of my husband and I to talk about the importance of screenings when it comes to colonoscopies and helping educate those because I'm hearing friends, family of mine are starting to talk more about colorectal cancer, meaning there may be more cases out there and perhaps younger. Are you seeing that in your offices? Yeah, we are actually. Um, the, the cases have increased and we are also, are also noticing uh, younger patients being diagnosed with colorectal cancer. Um, and so we've actually adjusted the screening recommendation as of October 2020. Um, we have moved the screening recommendation lower to age 45. I'm curious, are there other types of screenings or still the best kind of screening really is the good old colonoscopy? Yeah, the colonoscopy is the gold standard. There are other forms and there are other methods to screen, but we really consider colonoscopy the gold standard. Um, and it's also important if you do have a positive uh, test on any of the other forms of screening that you would need to go to colonoscopy um, to have that evaluated anyways. So we really consider that the, the best test and the gold standard. And you know what? People always push that off because they, like I said, don't like to think about it, don't like to talk about it. Colonoscopy is not a big deal. You're asleep. I know we can't say that enough to people. The other That's thing right. we can say enough to people, though, risk factors. What do people need to keep in mind if they want to keep their risk factors low for these types of cancer? So we separate those into modifiable versus non-modifiable risk factors. Um, the non-modifiable risk factors are things like age. As you get older, you have a higher increased incidence of colorectal cancer. There's not a whole lot you can do about that. Um, family risk factors, genetic factors. Um, if you have uh, IBD like Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, those put you at increased risk. So those are all the non-modifiable factors. Um, when we're looking at things that we can control and things that we can change, we talk about the modifiable risk factors. And those are things like um, alcohol intake, uh, tobacco use, obesity and sedentary lifestyle, um, having more red meat in your diet and less fiber. Uh, those are all modifiable things that we can control and that we can change to help prevent colorectal cancer. I hadn't heard that fiber one before. Those are some really good and some attainable things that we can do. The one thing that I've been noticing is really disturbing. I have a girl that I was friends with in high school and graduated with who's actually battling colorectal cancer right now. Are you seeing it more in people younger than 50? We are actually in the incidence over the last 10 years has increased in folks younger than 50. Um, and that's why we're starting the screening recommendation at 45. Uh, it, it's a little bit um, slow to be adopted around the country, mostly from insurance companies. Um, but from our end, we're really um, trying to push the, the 45 year old um, screening uh, recommendation. You know, we've got about a minute and a half left, and I'm curious, if you do make that appointment with a gastroenterologist or you're starting to have concerns, what are things that you need to look out for that may make you ask questions to your doctor? What are some of those red flags and conversation starters, if you will? Yeah, great question, and I get that a lot. Um, the reason that we do screen for colorectal cancer is because there really aren't a lot of symptoms. Um, things that you can look out for is blood in your stool or bleeding after bowel movements. Um, a lot of times if you have change in your bowel movements, like you notice that the stool caliber is more narrow or you're having more constipation or diarrhea, those things can kind of tip you off that something may not be going the right way. Um, you can always look at abdominal pain. Uh, and it's also important to remember that most of these are very rare. Um, and that's why we do screening because it's, uh, colorectal cancer is usually asymptomatic. And again, talk to your doctor if you're experiencing any of those symptoms. And if there was a cheer for colonoscopies, I would learn it. I would do it right now. I know you are as well, Dr. Siegel. Thanks for being with us today.